Pisces, your divine soul, how are you? My name is Vince, welcome to 7D Tarot. If this message resonates, like, subscribe, and comment. And for more clarity on your situation, check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. And for a totally fresh perspective, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box as well. And Pisces, make sure you stay tuned till the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from the universe tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Wow, wow, wow. A lot of beautiful energy here for you. You have the Empress next to the Seven of Cups. So you can expect some sort of inspired action, some sort of opp opportunity, actually multiple opportunities happening for a lot of you. Now, when this opportunity presents itself, your angels are telling you to really go with the flow on this. You choose the path of least, least resistance. Don't follow what is practical, optimal, analytical. You know, don't go what's, re what's realistic. Choose the path that makes you feel inspired. What feels right, right? And I'll give you an example. Maybe you have two different people that you could date. Now, one person, you know, has a great job and one person, you know, seems like on paper they would be exactly what you're looking for, but there's no romantic energy there. And the other person makes you laugh and smile. Pick the person that makes you happy because the, the money and the happiness and the joy, all that stuff will come, right? You have nothing to worry about. But if you are unhappy with someone, how long is that going to last? And that's just one example. Maybe a job presents itself. Maybe right now there's an opportunity that you are going to be able to, you know, find a job that you always wanted. But the thing is that it's like two hours away, an hour there, an hour back every single day. And, you know, the money is great, but... It's a lot of time and energy wasted and the environment's hostile. So, and maybe there's another job that's, that pays a little bit less, but it's closer to home and it's a greater energy. Right now, the, the, the path of least resistance is there. Right now, your angels and guides are telling you that there's so much abundance here for you. But during this time frame, the fact that you got the two and three of swords next to each other, it lets you know that this is the time for your intuition to call the shots and don't be overthinking things. Because for some of you, we've been overthinking what to do next and you're trying to really, you know, not make a mistake. But the problem is is that overthinking really prevents your intuition from feeling what to do next and right now the only thing that matters is going with where the energy takes you right so this is something that a lot of us struggle with is we're always trying to make sure we don't make a mistake and we second guess ourselves double check triple check but the thing is is like the right answer is what your angels and guides tell you from the start, what your instincts tell you. That is always the right answer. But then when we get the right answer, we immediately second guess ourselves and we give our ego time to come in and tell us otherwise. So your angels are telling you that this is the time to really go with the flow. This is the time to really have the heart coherence and trust yourself. This is a time right now for you to believe in yourself and know that your first instincts are always, always right. So follow through with that energy. Now, you also got the Knight of Cups and the Magician. So for a lot of you, this is the time to start tapping into your magical powers, the Magician, mystical energy, quantum, spiritual. Tap more into your empathic abilities. Get yourself in the receiving and downloading mode because you're going to find more passionate, compassionate, happy, joyous energy. And what that does is it all it does is attract people, energy, and opportunities that you're in harmony with. So right now, the more that you see that, wow, I live in a fractal holographic universe, which really means that you're the co-creator of your own reality. Quantum entanglement has proven that. Don't take this life too seriously. Basically, you're playing a video game. If you're familiar with the game Sims, you are the main character, and there's a whole bunch of other characters running around, you know, doing stuff. Don't focus on those other characters. Focus on yourself. Really, what those other characters are here, you know, playing the game with you, but you are the main character. So what do you want to do? Like, in the, in, if you were playing a video game, if you're watching a movie, what would you want that character of that movie to be doing, for example, right? Would you want them sitting at home worrying and just doing the same old, same old? Or would you want them trying new things, experiencing new things, enjoying life, letting go? And right now, when you really tap into that mystical, spiritual, and quantum, not only is life more enjoyable, right? You're actually living life, but now you've opened up the doors to the, to the, to the unknown, right? You're thinking of terms of energy, frequency, and vibrations rather than solid matter and particle. And that solid matter and particle only happens in the third dimension. So when you let go, you tap into the fifth and seventh dimension by taking some time to meditate, taking some time to journal, taking some time to, to manifest what you're looking for. And right now with chameleon spirit, act as if, right? Be mindless and open to receive. This is how you get there. So for example, I'll tell you my routine. I wake up every single day. 
and um, I go down to the beach. I'm very fortunate where I have a beach close by. I go down to the beach and I go for a swim. And afterwards, I sit on the sand and I meditate. I just be mindless and open to receive. And when I meditate, I'm not thinking of what to do. I'm not trying to figure out my next steps or any of that. I just literally sit there and I stop thinking. And I just imagine my third eye, right? And I'm just trying to feel my third eye. I'm trying to become my vibration. And at that point, maybe I'll do some yoga and things like that. But my whole goal is to be mindless throughout the day so I can receive and be told downloads and inspired action. I have those moments of, oh, that's a great idea. I should do this. Wow, I should do this. But be given direction so that throughout the day, I know what to do. Or else I'm going to be overthinking, trying to happen, trying to force it, effort it. And that's just, you know, like, I'm great and all, but my angels and guides, spirit and, and the, 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 the quantum field has a whole lot more downloads than me trying to figure it out. You know, I'm, you know, 30, I'm going to be 38. I'm going to be 38 years old. I'm just a baby still. Whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, you are a baby compared to the thousands of year old, you know, soul that's within you that can speak to you and tell you what to do. Now, you also got the hangman and the hermit. So, some of you may feel as if you've been hesitating, procrastinating, stagnant energy. And right now, the only reason you feel like that is because you are not inspired. And when you're not inspired to do something, you're asking, you're telling yourself like, what's the point, right? So for example, maybe you feel like you should be going to the gym, but you're not inspired to do so. And maybe you're telling yourself, I should start a side hustle, another business, but you don't feel inspired to do so. So when you're trying to force it and effort it, you know, no one wants to do something if they don't really want to do it. And it's like, imagine someone who has an unhealthy habit and you're reminding them it's unhealthy, but they're not inspired to quit whatever it is they're doing. This is what's happening here. And right now your angels and guides are telling you, don't put too much pressure on yourself, Pisces. Let go, surrender. The inspired energy, the action will come the moment you let go to receive. But unless you close a chapter in your life, it's going to be hard to open another chapter. And I do see here with the death card and the six of swords that it is time, your, your angels are telling you that for a lot of you, it's time to close the chapter on the past. Right now, when we, when we keep thinking of the past and we keep indul indulging in a timeline that is kind of bringing depression because you're telling yourself, I had something, I lost something, it is siphoning energy away from the present moment. So bring your energy back to the present moment through Panther Spirit, which is reclaiming your power, which is reclaiming your independence and reclaiming your awareness. And how do you reclaim your power? By naming things you can see. And I'll give you an example. Imagine you're going for a walk, all of a sudden, your mind wanders to the past. I had something, I lost something, scarcity mindset. You were aware that this is not the energy you're looking for because it's like you could feel the warning sign from the universe. Now, at that point, your awareness needs to kick in and you need to be like, okay, so time to reclaim my power. Name things you can see. Going for a walk, you'll be like cloud, duck, stop sign, red car, guy in a blue hat, green shirt, whatever. Name anything you can see. Reclaim your power, reclaim your independence. Now you also have the right now card. So again, awareness of the present moment. Your angels and guides are telling you that this is the moment that matters. And through peacock spirit, you are going to be shining, right? Your vibrations are going to be through the roof. The moment you accept, the moment you are open to receive, the moment you understand that the freedom is yours, but it's a choice. This is an energy that is going to manifest for us the moment we let go to receive. So learn to love the story of the future, learn to love the vision of the future, and then you won't be left with a memory of the past. All right, Pisces, I'm going to pull a final message right now for you. Let's see, what does the universe want you to know? And right now, look at that. Gratitude and appreciation, what a beautiful card this is. And right now, I am going to read from the book. This is number 46. And let's see, so the message is, recognize the good qualities in others and openly share your gratitude with them. Write notes of thanks to those who've helped you. If someone deserves acknowledgement, take the time to let a superior or colleague know so that they can receive the recognition they deserve. Nature is continually sharing its beauty for us to appreciate. Beholding a rainbow is a gift. And when we encounter a rainbow's beauty, it is the perfect time to be grateful for all the gifts in our lives. It is important to generate the positive flow of thankfulness that can bring joy into someone else's life 
By doing so, you will not only decrease your stress, you will also generate the feeling of goodwill and love in your life. So this is a time to be grateful, but share your gratitude, right? Sharing your gratitude is like having a gift and delivering it. So for example, imagine you have a coworker and they're wearing a beautiful dress. Rather than just think, wow, it's a beautiful dress, tell them, be like, this dress makes you look beautiful. I love this color on you, you know, fantastic job. Let them know, share your gratitude and deliver your gift. All right, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Till next time, ciao.